we 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 kind of pay attention to the numbers we put put up the opponents penalties where they're coming from we put up our own where they're coming from and it, and it's not just Brandon you know there are a lot of them that are coming from the secondary and you know it's something you know, that obviously we have to pay attention to the third down numbers last week were pretty good and yet they weren't really factoring in the, the, the conversions made because there was a penalty. So it's something we'll, we work on. We've got the gloves on these guys, um, you know, to prevent the grabbing and, and, and some of the tugging. And there, there is a little bit of part of the deal, but not to the extent that we've been seeing. What is what is the line with him? Because obviously, with his who? physical with Brandon, his physical style, you knew about and sort of embraced when you brought him in here. Absolutely. But you don't want that volume, I assume. Well, I mean, just want to reduce some of them. I mean, but he's 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 an aggressive player at the line of scrimmage. Uh, I like it. Um, he's very he's very disciplined. He's smart. Um, and again, it's not just one player. When you're having trouble with penalties, do you give a closer look each week to how certain uh, crews call or like they're, if they We profile them, they we profile every crew on Friday, and so we profiled Drone Boger this week and where his crew's at total penalties called, the average per crew at this point in the season, and then what their crew is, is calling, what they're calling a lot. Um, these guys are at the top of the league in regards to this crew, uh, penalties called, and, and we kind of go through each call and where they rank based on their numbers compared to the other crews. So we do that on Friday, and uh, it was no different than this morning.